Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to my Andrew Crypto. Today is the most important day out of crypto for the next few weeks. I will explain why, but first do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Link in the description box and in the comment section. Patreon slash mind your crypto. Get easy profits even on bearish markets with short and long positions. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell through our automated system with 200 altcoins. You will also get to join our unique manual system with over 90% win ratio, personal guidance, everyday educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis and hold your future in your hands, market updates, random giveaways, spine scripts, and many other benefits. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's see right now Bitcoin. And today we had a very huge drop on the daily frame, minus 3%, actually not a huge drop, but a significant drop that we do not want to let it out like this today. And I will explain why right now. First of all, let's discuss a little bit about the major support levels of Bitcoin. The last major support level for now, for the short term, will be the 38.3K. If we go down from the 38.3K, then we are going to meet probably the 35.5K. Yeah, that's, that's right. I know it sounds crazy, but yes, we can do that. However, if we have a strong bounce today and go and close above the 39.9K, this will mean that Bitcoin is not ready to fall down and therefore we are going to have a bounce of the 39.9 and go even, even higher maybe towards the 50,000 tether USD. As of it right now, it doesn't seem good. And the fact that we lost the bottom trend line and found rejection, and also if you remember the Ganfan line and what I'm going to do right now is to draw again the Ganfan line. Okay, so what we are going to do is to draw the gun box. All right, so if you want to know how to draw a Ganfan tool, then you can just watch my video how to draw a Ganfan tool properly. I remember that it was 266, so I squared the chart from the bottom back on July to the top on 10 November. And what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to draw the Ganfan from this bottom corner to the left. I want the 1-1 one, one Ganfan line to just cross the 1-1 one, one window, the top right of the gun box. You can see that, right? The top right corner. So this is it. This is our gun fund. I'm just deleting this so you can check it out. So what happened is we found good buying pressure on the 8.1. And then what happened is that we went higher, found good buying pressure, uh, sell pressure, sorry, on the 3.1 gun fund line. All right. And we couldn't get past above it. Instead, we had more correction found rejection again right here on the 4-1 and now it is ready probably if we do not have a buying pressure to meet the 35k and the 35.3k around there okay around this area it is going probably to meet this area right there if we do not have a buying pressure today and also today it is our weekly close, all right? So therefore it is very important not to form something so bearish like this pattern right here, not to drop down to the 38.3K. We want to see a buying, strong buying pressure today to avoid all of this before, okay? So right now that's what we want to see, that's what we want to hear, okay? So after the 8.1, we are going to a worst case possible scenario. Let's say that we drop down to the 8.1 but lose this support level, this Ganfan line, then this will be worse. We are going for a regular flat pattern or a, an expanded flat pattern. And what it means, it is that we are going down again, probably into the 30,300 tether USD, 32,000 tether USD. If we keep going down and down, then this means that we are going down there. On the monthly frame, as you can see, we hold the 20-day EMA, but this is not a reason to say that we are bullish yet. The 20-day EMA is this yellow line right here. We hold it, but we are not bullish. But all in overall, the month that we hold this line is pretty, pretty bullish. Right now, we saw a huge sell pressure on February, on the late February, and we are just almost a little bit of green, plus 0.55% is the body of the candlestick 
for now for the monthly frame this can change of course we have 10 more days okay eight more days actually to go but this can change all right so therefore going back to the daily frame what we want to see right now is a huge buy pressure to close above the 39.9k this will be very very good for bitcoin and this will mean that we can manage to get higher okay and it could possibly mean that we have a bull a bear trap so what is going on on the four hour frame how could you know that we are going to go down um you can see that the rsi the relative strength index was flirting near the 30 zone and of course the commodity channel index was also doing that okay so imagine that when you have the commodity channel index at the bottom near the bottom right here and you have the rsi near the bottom but the stochastic rsi is going higher and higher then that means that the altcoin is weak because you do not see anything of a price of a nice price action you just see bitcoin dropping down okay you just see this correction going on bitcoin dropping down and therefore what is going on is that you are going down as well all right so let's say that you are not familiar with the risk metrics another thing you could do is to see the higher low and the lower high pattern after a correction going on this means that we are having right here a probability of more going of going further down for bitcoin okay uh, it is not a good time for crypto for now for the time being but you can always sort positions okay you cannot just long the position you cannot just buy to sell higher but you can buy to sell lower and get profits as well so you can get benefits from the bearish crypto market as well and do not forget to join our monthly subscription patreon slash mind your crypto for that reason anyway there now bitcoin is going down it is on the minus three or on the four hour frame on the daily frame it is at the minus 3.60 percent we need now a huge bank pressure in order to confirm that we are going higher in this week if we do not have a great huge bank pressure now right now for bitcoin then i am afraid that we are going to see more of a correction for bitcoin especially if we do not hold the 38.3k and how do i know just I just made, I just actually draw a symbol of Fibonacci from the bottom back before we begin our bull run, actually our mini market uh, pump up to this top right here on 10 February. Okay, so you can see that, you can check it out, that this is indeed around here. It is indeed the last support level to hold and we want to hold it so badly. We want to find buying pressure right here and therefore to go even, even higher, have a great crazy buying pressure going on with a long lower shadow. We do not care, but we want to close above the 39.9K. All right, so that's what we want to see on the daily frame. So the next week, can be better it can go and have a nice buying pressure because if it doesn't then i am afraid we might be going further down as well and the monthly won't be closing so good like we want but what is the probability of going on like that what is the best case scenario right now the best case scenario is for us on the short term i am now on the four hour frame to follow the risk metrics and what i mean by that is okay you have the stochastic rsi in an overbought not in an overbought actually but near the top okay you have it near the top however the rsi right here is down into an extreme oversold what we want to see in the price now is the price following this oversold situation today and pumping up the good news is that the RSA will pump up probably. Um, actually, the RSA is in an extreme oversold, so Bitcoin has chances to see a pump up, has chances to find the buyers stepping in and having a pump up overall. Okay, but um, okay, it is of course it can happen however we have seen multiple times that once we go down to the uh below 30 it is not necessary that we are going higher okay for example we had a very very huge correction right there on 22nd 21st january you can see right here we were going down below the 30 but the price remaining kept actually going even even lower okay 
So uh, until we had this pump up right there and Bitcoin started going uh, higher. But you can see back then, once we went down from the 30s right here, it wasn't necessary that we are not going further down. OK, so what we want to see right now is the price related to the technical analysis. Sometimes you have to compare the price to the technical analysis. So is the price following the risk metrics or is it dropping more and more down? For example, right there, you can see that we started being bearish once the price did not follow the risk metrics. Look at that. The Komod channel index in an oversold and yet we didn't make any significant move. Instead, we were going sideways, not going upwards. So if we were bullish here, then we would just be going higher and higher, have the Bitcoin chart go higher and higher as well. All right. So therefore, this is the only problem right now. We are not seeing that. However, this could change. We want it to change today as the weekly will close, as we will see a new week coming and the possibly monthly close of February 2022. So we can begin to have positive news about the March and we can begin to just think that we might be able to have the flat running pattern as we all want. OK, so the flat running pattern consists of the higher highs. Back then, if I go to the daily frame, excuse me for a second, there, there you go. I am going to remove all the drawings. The flat running pattern consists of a higher high and a higher low in the bottom. So therefore, this would mean that we could possibly be seeing one last drop right there today. And then we go expanding even, even higher into above the 50,000 Tether USD. We need to see a very nice buying pressure right now. That's what we want to see on the four hour frame, on the daily frame, in the short term, a very nice buying pressure from Bitcoin in order to secure that we are not going to miss um, this weekly close into below the 39.9k, which is very, very important. And also we want it to show some very nice buying pressure on the oversold situation that we have with the RSI as well. We haven't formed a bullish RSI divergence or anything like that. So things are a little bit bearish, but at this moment, at this rate, I truly believe that we can manage maybe to have a nice buying pressure. If not, then expect a further drop down. And also, especially if we do not hold the 38.3K for now, which is a very strong support level. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.